Hey guys, Wondering Shell here. Once again, we're doing another D&D &D character, this time with the Drunken Master. Or, I like to call him the Chuck Norris, because he kind of looks like Chuck Norris when I started to paint him. Um, he's literally a human. He's no elf, no nothing. He is a human who is a monk, and he has a drink in his hand, which I assume is like a beer or mead or something like that effect. Um, so he is a drunken master. And I didn't know what to paint him, so I just chose basic skin tone, and then went because of that, and then I did his brown hair, and I'm like, oh my goodness, he looks like Chuck Norris. Um, and so I was like, oh, well, I guess he's gonna be that. So, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I really didn't know what to paint him. Um, especially his outfit. His outfit's very interesting and very detailed. And I wanted to make sure something is really pop. Because I kind of wanted to have him go next to the panda one that I did. Because panda was red. So I actually chose greens and blues for him. So it's like a contradiction between the two characters. So they could kind of go head to head. And they kind of look like they're facing each other. Uh, more or less, so it was a nice like contrast between the two of them. And I've been using different colors a lot lately, um, more unique and different ones. Um, this one, I don't know, I kind of regret it after I painted him because the white shield blue it looks so vibrant and pretty. Um, but once I put the tone in. It looked dull and I should have learned from my mistake from previous episodes and not do that so that was my fault I should have actually done electric blue and then use the voice shield blue as a highlight so that was my mistake and I need to remember this every single time like voice shield blue is very bright and it's good as a highlight not as a base color and i should have realized that when i was painting him that was my fault and i remember painting another character like this where i used voice shield blue and i regretted it i did not learn from my mistakes as you can see so here we are with nice pretty colors the voice shield blue I even did gold just to change it up. Breaks the uh, greens. Yep, there it is. Get it all that gold. Alright, now we're gonna get his beard. His, uh, well, actually, I already did his beard. Now I'm gonna do his headband and back of his head, and time for the tones. So, I did use a flash wash, and you can start seeing all that muscle tone, which is kind of why I use flash wash. Uh, so, it's an easier trying to get all that crevice. I need to start using the other paints a little bit better, um, but they make more of a realism look to it versus a cartoony, and I kind of like that cartoony look, or not cartoony, but you know what I mean. The cell shading more than realism, because realism will take me forever to get done, um, and I don't have time for that. Maybe like off time, but eh. Now, after the tone got dried, this is the part where it just does not look right. So I had I went back with the voice shield blue over this, and it still grayed out and dulled. It didn't have that vibrant anymore, you know, vibrancy anymore. So 
I should have just done electric and then the voice shield as the high highlight. Because even as my high highlight, I used white. And even then, it just does not look nice. It looks like it's like frosted. I try to make it look like it's more silky, and hence the high that white highlight. And then went back with the flesh tones, get that repainted again. Make sure anything that's raised, it gets another coat of paint. That's pretty much it. Nice and simple. Here's and there's. Very fast. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>